Yeah, we've done like a funny intro or anything like that on the channel for a while. You got any? No, okay. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 982 and today we are back from the brand new video. Today's video we have some leaked kits ladies and gentlemen that's right there's more leaks coming out the glasgow rangers which is quite weird because i thought kenny miller was gone come on it's just a joke it's a joke just please it's i'm just it's light-hearted fun i'm just trying to entertain didn't take it too seriously was it the daily record that done it was it but before we go any further in today's video, just a friendly reminder, in case you are new around here, make sure you be hitting that subscribe button, it's free, and it helps the nation on our way. Let's just jump into it then, shall we? Three, two, one. Story number one then, and no, it's not going to be that deliciously clickbaity tale, it's not about the kits as of yet, it's actually going to be discussing the Youth Cup final very, very briefly. If you don't know already, Rangers Youth Team bet Celtic Youth Team in the Cup final, 3-2 at Hamden. It was actually a really good game of football, you got to see a lot of young Bears, Bears that's just on the brink of making it at the next level at the Glasgow Rangers, you got to see the Academy Player of the Year. Josh McPeak absolutely strolled the game, I mean this is a guy that Gerard rates highly, who's had him in and amongst the first team squad all Ready. This is the future for the Glasgow Rangers sitting in this kid and he's tremendously talented. Now he didn't get on the score sheet but he done a lot of good things. Now the goals I'll break down very very briefly. The first one was scored by Dixon on the fifth minute. It was actually a terrific strike to be honest with you. And within 60 seconds Rangers had made it 2-0 in the cup final with Dapple getting amongst the goals. This guy we've spoke about on the channel before earlier on the season. I even wanted this guy Harry Sadiq in that Aberdeen final because he's clearly just talented and he's fun to watch. Obviously he's still got a lot to learn in the game. He's extremely Extremely young, Gerard spoke about that as well, but the guy is just so exciting to actually watch and he took his goal tremendously well. And the third and final goal was actually scored by Nathan Young Combs. And I've actually made myself laugh there because I'm just thinking about something the commentary said tonight. It was a great header, absolutely brilliant, ready man making it 3-2 and that was obviously the winning goal. But the commentary was like, oh I'm very surprised about the confidence of Nathan Young Combs. Have you seen the guy's bonnet? What kind of confidence you got to have to walk about with that every day? The man just oozes confidence and you're surprised? Shout out to Nathan Young Combs, by the way. He's been doing bits since he's joined from Chelsea. Just continues to get better. And you saw his reaction with the crowd at the end. He clearly loves being here and he took his goal again. Well, now, I just want to give a couple other mentions very, very briefly. And if I don't mention anyone, it's not because they played bad. But just off the top of my head, give some commiserations to Kyrie Kennedy. Now, he took a penalty. He missed it. You know what I mean? He's brave enough to step up and take it. But I thought the rest of the game, he actually played pretty damn well. Ben Williamson. I really rate. <laughs> he just he's a bit of a shit house city player, you know what I mean? He's a very just gets stuck in, but then you saw in the first half that he's got the ability to skip by people, dragging it by a couple of Celtic players and having a shot with his weaker foot. He's got confidence, but then he's got that nastier side of the game as well. Very, very underrated player at the Rangers youth level. And the last one we're actually going to speak about very, very briefly is the big goalie for the Glasgow Rangers. Now I cannot pronounce this name and I'm not even going to attempt it because I'll just embarrass myself. You as well roast me rotten, but I'll throw his name up there. That is a bombay bad boy and he certainly performed to that level with save after save and the second goal that Celtic scored was completely not his fault as a deflection off the wall so I thought he put on a very strong performance as well so to wrap up story number one Rangers won 3-2 that is the first time they've won the Youth Cup in five years and it's the first time since they bet Celtic in a cup final since 2008 when a certain John Fleck and Andrew Shinney was playing amongst the youth level so congratulations to the young bears now let's jump to story number two story number two then and it's time to jump over to the leaked style news now this is everywhere i mean this was accidentally posted and it's just went like wildfire and there's loads of questions about is it fake is it just photoshops all this stuff cj what's happening with the rangers kits ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is going to be next year's rangers kits this is not a photoshop this was a video that was accidentally posted swiftly delayed but it's out there, it's all over Facebook, it's all over Twitter, it's all over Instagram, the news is out there, and the people want their kits. Now when I seen the kits, I was like, oh actually they look pretty cool, I was actually drawn more to the, the, the black and sort of blue one, because it's a bit different than what we've had in a very long time. I know we had the, like, the black golf kit, but I don't think we've ever had a stunning black Rangers kit, I'm pretty sure I'm alright with saying that. Even that one, I remember Kenny Miller scoring a lot of goals in, wasn't that great, it was just a plain black kit this one I actually really really rate but the more I look at the the Rangers blue kit and I see it in better quality and I see like the the badges that's all built into it and that the flags kind of like built into the style of the actual kit I sit back and I think this could genuinely be one of the best looking home tops we've had in a very 
long time. I'm a big fan of the retro slash like kind of plain look for the Rangers shirts, kind of like Davy Cooper S shirt, and that's what this one kind of reminds me of. Obviously, it's not like copying it or anything like that, but genuinely, that's what it puts me in the mind of. And that they're happy days, so hopefully, there's gonna be happy days in these Rangers kits as well. But it is now good news, ladies and gentlemen, because you may have noticed that plain red kit right in the picture. And then when I posted that, I actually thought, oh, it's a little homage to Steven Gerrard's Liverpool. It's kind of like a retro Liverpool kit. I kind of rate it. That's what I thought of. Then I checked my phone after watching Avengers for the second time. It's brilliant, by the way. Go and watch it. No spoilers here. And all I seen was Aberdeen comparisons everywhere, left, right, and centre. I never even, it never even came to my mind that it looked like an Aberdeen kit. But now that it's in there, I see it. And I don't like it. Now, we've not seen proper dynamic images of the red kit yet, so I'm not going to judge it or slam it. I'm hoping it's kind of like the Blue Rangers kit, where it's got little Rangers badges built in and maybe the flag built in. We don't know what's really happening in the back of the kits as well, but I'm hoping there's something in it just to spice up a lot more and add a bit more Rangers to the red kit, because if it's just plain red, because now that it's out there and it's been said, all I can see is just an Aberdeen kit. But moving away from the colours and that discussion for just a brief moment, there is one other thing to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The most important thing to talk about regarding the Rangers kits that most people aren't even mentioning. The actual badges are back. That's right, embroidered badges are back. Stitched on beautiful badges. None of that like flappy plastic that just peels off. You know what? Throw the stitch badge up there. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Hummel. You've listened to the fans and you've given us what I want. Don't go back to that ever again. Okay. And with that being said, that is the reaction to the Rangers kits. They are not photoshopped. I know that question's going around everywhere. It was definitely a leaked video and I'm 99.8.4% sure that these will be next season's Rangers kits. So with all that being said, what is your thoughts on the kits? Do you like them? Do you rate them? Which one's your favourite? Are you going to be buying all three or are you just not a big fan of any of them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down there in the comment section below. Me personally, while you're getting your thoughts out there, I love the blue one. That's genuinely my favourite one by far. I'm going to be buying the black and blue one. It's very different from what we've had in the past and I rate that. The red one, I'm still a bit unsold. I'm hoping when the actual officially gets announced and it's properly dynamic images, we'll see up closer and there's something slightly different about it rather than just a plain red kit. So I'm not going to hate on it yet and slam it and say it's absolute garbage. I'm just hoping for something just to make it a bit different so it's not just plain Red. Now before we jump over to Twitter and hear from the people, let's have a little refreshment shall we? You've just shared your opinion, I've shared mine, let's have a little beverage, grab it, Three, two, one. sports break! That's the day old cola, that's, that's been there a while, I meant this one, that's lovely. So now that we've recovered from the off cola, let's jump over to Twitter and hear from the people, there's been 1,104 votes, thank you so much for getting involved. 4% votes for the red. 35% of the people votes for the black, but 61% of the people votes for the Rangers Royal Blue as their favourite kit. Mould writes in, by far the black one looks a bit like the Chelsea strip. I know, that's completely true as well. Danny Taylor writes in, the red one is heavy, an Aberdeen strip. Stop it, Danny. But yeah, I see it. But stop it, okay? Alex Durrant writes in, blue one is a proper retro Rangers kit. Kinda wish there was another Mandarin option. That'll probably be the goalkeeper's kit. They won't let us do. Stay tuned for that. Alistair writes in, I think they all look excellent, especially the home kit. So there we are, finally getting some love for the red one. And the last two or three that we'll actually read out come from Craig Brown, who writes, love the home and the black and blue one. Not keen on the sheet kit. Okay, fair enough. Dean Connolly writes in, home, I love it. Collar looks a bit loose, stitched badges and the heart face emoji. You know which one I'm talking about. Away, simple, but the all red looks a bit like Aberdeen, should have had a black or grey shorts, I think. Third kit, love it, and I would have preferred a circular collar design. Thumbs up for me. There we are, Dean. Getting stuck in there, son. I rate that. And the last one we'll actually do, we'll go up there, we'll go down there, and we'll stop it right here. And it comes from Ryan at Ry Ronaldo. Right, at Ronaldo, I think it is. 14, he writes, and actually in love with this home kit, CJ. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've heard from the people, you've heard from myself. Now, the last thing we're actually going to be discussing in today's video, it's just extremely short, I just want your reaction, because I personally found this absolutely hilarious. It was, a, it was a story that was run in the Daily Record, and the title was Rangers Flop Signs for £8 million to Wolfsburg, right? Rangers Flop. Then underneath Rangers Flop, look at it, this is genuine, this isn't made up. This is genuinely out there in the world right now. J flop, next line. The former Jers Lone Star. So is he a flop or is he a former Jers Lone Star? Let me tell you, he's neither. He came for six months apart of the Newcastle loan. Didn't he play because he was injured the entire time? 
Get your facts right instead of clickbaiting the Rangers, please. And that's us going to be all done and dusty for today's video. What did you think of the stories? If you haven't done so already, get your thoughts and opinions out there. As always, a shout out to the Patreons account. I greatly appreciate all the support each and every single month to keep this channel rocking and rolling. And last but not least, if you haven't bought your charity football tickets yet, the link for that, as always, will be down in the description. I appreciate all the support from the nation so far. We've nearly sold out the VIP tickets. We're doing really well on the other tickets. We're going to be raising a lot of money for Sam H. Charity, and I can't thank you guys enough. It's genuinely you guys that tune in each and every single day that's made me really lucky enough to have this channel and to be able to help and raise money like this is genuinely one of the best things that's ever happened to me and that's all because of you guys so a massive thank you for all the support again if you'd like to buy some tickets it's down there in the description i've been cj 92 thank you so much for watching and bye